in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord good morning jesus good morning lord i know you come from heaven above the holy spirit is on the throne good morning jesus good morning lord good morning jesus good morning lord i know you come from is on the throne good morning jesus good morning lord in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord hallelujah glory to god thank you for joining us good morning to you good morning to everyone joining us today i want to take the opportunity to thank even those and welcome those that are yet to join us and those that will come later to replay good morning the lord bless you abundantly today in the mighty name of jesus amen this is a morning declaration session this is a morning declaration you've got to order your day you've got to command your day say what you want to see hallelujah and today is a sunday a day of rest a day that we have decided to set apart and and fellowship most ministries fellowship on sundays most most churches fellowship on sunday sunday is their own sabbath that they choose to rest so happy sunday everyone happy sunday to each and everyone and for those who are preparing to go to church that is the right thing to do do spend some time in the presence of god but if you can't do that that's why we are here to pray with you and give you the word for today hallelujah order your day before you get out before you go to work before you go out hanging out with friends and family hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus lezo brashi handa balarasiana just begin to thank god for this day just begin to thank god just begin to exalt the king of kings and the lord of lords exalt the king of kings and the lord of lords just begin to worship him lord we thank you for this day we thank you lord it is not a right that we saw this day is a privilege. Thank you for the privilege of, of, of us seeing this day. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you, Lord, for making it possible for us to see this day. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We exalt your holy name. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Psalms 23, the Bible tells us in Psalms 23 and verse 1, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. I decree today you will not need anything in the name of Jesus. You will not lack anything in the name of Jesus. Everything that you need, the Lord will make provision for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that you need, the Lord will make provision for it in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree today the heavens are open to meet your need in the mighty name of Jesus. The heavens are open today to make your need 
in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not going to be in lack. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. I shall not, another Bible version says, I shall not want anything. It means even your wants, God is committed to bringing to pass your wants. God is committed to providing your wants. God is committed to bring to you what you desire, to bring to you what you want. That's why he says, I'll do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever. When you read the Amplified Bible, desire is one of it. God is so interested in you that he cares about your desires. God is so interested in you that he doesn't limit himself to what you need. But he cares about your desires. Hallelujah. And someone today, God says, I should tell you, he will supply your needs, all of them, according to his riches in glory. Not according to your needs, but according to his riches in glory. He will supply all your needs, not some of them, but all according to his riches in glory. My father once explained this scripture to us. He says, for instance, let's take for instance, you need $10,000. So God doesn't give you according to your needs. So he goes to where he has $10,000 in different bulbs and he supplies to you based on how much he has, not based on how much you need. So someone you are about to have an overflow of supplies today in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God doesn't just want to give you, God wants to make you a blessing. God is making someone a blessing for someone else today in the name of Jesus. The very thing that you need, you will bless some other person with it today in the mighty name of Jesus. That same thing that you need, you will bless some other person with it today in the mighty name of Jesus. The rich treasuries of heaven are opening over you. God is ensuring there is a provision for you. There is provision for you. Everything you need, everything you want, everything you desire is coming to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The same Psalms 23 says he prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. It means it doesn't matter who has tried to stop you. It doesn't matter who has tried to deprive you. It doesn't matter whether the enemy says you will not see your next level. You will live in luck. You will die miserable. Despite what they are saying, God says he is preparing a table before you. It means to someone today, God is not just going to meet your need. God is going to prepare a banquet. You are going to have possibilities to meet that need. You are going to have different opportunities to meet that need. You are going to have different opportunities and nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop it from happening. Nothing can stop what God wants to do in your life today. As you step out of your home today, God is giving you multiple opportunities. God is giving you a variety for you to choose from. God says he is preparing a table before you. He is preparing a table before you. He is preparing a table before you. Someone by the end of this day you will be satisfied. Lavishly satisfied. Satisfied and there is nothing the enemy can do about it. Oh, the Holy Spirit says with their eyes they will watch you. He's preparing the table before them. They will watch you. They will watch you testify. They will watch you live your dream life. They will watch you come back with a miracle. They will watch you. They will watch you. Hallelujah. Oh, la zobra shihanda balara rasia na balaruza. Li zeka baru shakali arasia na balara sobra handa. Liana Kabaraswa Nabalarusha Kaliara Sihanda Balarusa Yanda Barusha Kaliara Siana Lizeze Barasu Brahanda Larusha Kaliara Siana Lizu Barasiana Balarusha Kali Karaswana Liana Baraswa Handa Balarusha Kali Karenda Raso Brahanda Lize Kabaraso Brahanda Larusha in the name in the book of Genesis. Talking about the story of Isaac and his son Esau and Jacob. After Isaac had asked Esau to go get him, to go hunt and prepare him some good stew. Then Jacob and the mom 
prepared it and brought it sooner. When Jacob came and the father was surprised and asked, thinking his ass out, he asked him, say like, how are you back already this soon? Did you already go, go hunting and came back this soon? Jacob said, whereas I was going, said today God was with me. As I was going, what the, 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 the game that I was looking for, it, it, it came out and met me. It came out to me. It came to me. It came to me. What I was looking for, the animal I was looking for, I was going to catch, it came to me. As I was still on my way, it came to me. Someone, as you are still on your way, going to look for that opportunity, going to look for that job, it will come your way in the name of Jesus as you are on your opportunities will meet you you will not go after it but it will come for you in the name of Jesus today has been decreed a day for a miracle a miracle will come looking for you today what you've been looking for what you've been praying and believing God for for a long time today it is coming to you in the name of Jesus what you've struggled so long to have what you've struggled so hard to have it is coming to you today in the name of Jesus Today, God says what you have found, what you've found it so hard to accomplish. Today, it is coming to you cheaply. It is coming to you cheaply. When you least expect it, it will show up before you. When you least expect it, it will come looking for you. When you least expect it, no more will you go looking for it today. God says he has a surprise for someone today. God has a surprise for someone today. It is coming coming sooner and faster than you thought. It is coming easier than you thought. It is coming without you even expecting it. Oh, the Bible says the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. But I came to realize sometimes the expectations of the righteous are limiting them to their ability, to, the, to, to, to their mindset, to, to, to what they think is possible or, or to the level of their faith. And I realized that sometimes God has his own expectations for us. Today, it is not just your expectations that will not be cut off but God's expectations so you will not be cut off God's expectations so you will not be cut off God's expectations so you today will not be cut off an example of God's expectations so you is like the story we see in Acts chapter 3 we see the story of a man the Bible says he was born crippled and his friends would carry him and bring him to the beautiful gate every morning let's not talk about the gate and his life before then and how far your friends can carry you if you are depending on man you are depending of you are, you are, you are, you are, you are stooping so low you are depending for small because man will never help you beyond what he can offer so the best the friends could do was carry him and leave him at the beautiful gate but they, and, and there he would beg for arms but this faithful day like every other day he was he went there and his expectations were to have the arms to have money to eat his expectation was to have people give him generously but God had a better expectation for him God had more he wanted to do in his life and that faithful day was a day that was designed for him to encounter for him to encounter Peter and John entering the temple and the Bible says he asked for arms and Peter says that he says silver and gold I don't have he says but what I have I give it to you and the Bible says the man rest he says look at me the man looked at him expecting to receive something his expectations were aligned to and they went beyond just expecting to receive money to expecting to receive something someone I know you've been believing God for that particular thing but God is saying today your expectations should go beyond your, your beyond what you are believing him for your expectations should go beyond that particular need your expectations should go beyond because God wants to do something greater. And the Bible says, Peter says, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the man stood up and the man leaped up and began to jump and praise God and could enter the temple praising God. And, he, and, and what caught me was that the man did not remember his arms. He did not remember the dish that he was using to bake arms. He did not remember that he was there to bake arms. Arms, it means arms was not really what he needed. Arms was what he decided to settle for because he had given up on the possibility of him walking again. Someone, God is about to meet you at the point
point where you have given up. God is about to do something in your life, something you've given up on. God's expectations for you today are beyond your expectations. You've got to increase your faith. As you step out of your home today, increase your faith. God has something greater for you. God has something that will leave you limping and uh, leaping and, and, and praising God. We need, it was never recorded that after the man receives arms, at the end of the day, he will leap and praise God. Or let's assume he wasn't even walking, but he couldn't praise God even in songs. He couldn't praise God at the end of the day because he was just getting by. God is about to do something in your life that will make you leap today. God is about to do something in your life that will make you praise God. God is about to do something in your life today that will make you say, indeed, this is a good God. God is about to do something in your life that will change the narratives, that will change your life forever. God is about to do something in your life that will make the people, everyone that sees you say, indeed, this can only be God. The Bible says everyone that saw the man, they said, is this not the man that was at the gate? They have known you for something. They have mocked at you for something. God is about to change the narratives. And everyone who sees you will testify that indeed God has been good to you. Everyone who sees you will rejoice and say, indeed God is a faithful God. Everyone who sees you will rejoice and say, indeed what God cannot do does not exist. Everyone who sees you will rejoice with you. And you, you are about to be who God will use to build someone's faith. You are about to be who God will use to build someone's faith. So God is about to use you to let some other person know that he is a good and a faithful God. Hallelujah. Come on, someone, just begin to thank God for today. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God for what he has in store for you today. And as you're thanking God, it's a good time for you to drop an offering. It's a good time for you to sow a seed. If you feel late in your spirit, if there is anything you feel like you should connect to, this is a good time for you to do that in the mighty name of Jesus. We have barely just a few seconds for that. Check the description box. You see the cash up and the PayPal, or you check if it is pinned, or you can just hit on that super thanks, super sticker. The Lord will bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. See you in our next session. Shalom.